Clint Houston. How will I know? 25 past 11, it's Wednesday morning. Good morning. I hope you're having a good morning as well. Sally Pepper with you till one o'clock. Now, we're going to talk about something that, uh, well, will probably pluck at your heartstrings. It's incredibly sad when I've been uh, reading all about my next guest. Imagine if your whole world changed in just a day. Imagine having to leave everything, everything you own and everyone you know. Well, that, sadly, is the shocking reality for 48,000 children who need emergency accommodation in the UK each year. Why? Because they're fleeing domestic violence. One Derbyshire lady has set up a foundation to help support those children. She's with me now. Karen Williams has created the Live, Love, Laugh Foundation. And she's here to tell us exactly what that is. Good morning, Karen. Great to see you. Good morning, Sally. There is no way you can fail to feel incredibly sad about the situations these families, these young, these children, these young people are in. And, and the reality is that, isn't it? Yeah. They are fleeing. Yeah. Um, probably no time to really grab anything which is where you come in and we'll, t we'll talk about what you actually do in a moment. Tell us about the foundation though, first of all. What was it that compelled you to go about doing this? Um, what it was, Sally, is I visited my son in Australia last November and um, I was on a long flight and I was reading an article in an in-flight magazine about a charity in Australia called the Alani and Madeline Foundation and they'd set up um, the Buddy Bag Appeal and over the last seven years they've delivered over 60,000 Buddy Bags to children who have been victims of domestic violence and um, when I read the article it just made me think, um, you know, what, what an amazing job they'd done. And um, when I came back to the UK, I did some research and I soon realised that there was no service in the UK providing buddy bags to our UK children. And these buddy bags, oh, in a nutshell, I mean, I know you've got one with you, so we'll yes. go through it, but, yes. but essentially the buddy bag is what? Right, so the buddy bag, it's a rucksack and it contains 12 essential items um, that make a real difference to these children when they arrive in emergency accommodation. So often these children, um, they are relocated um, or taken from the family home with their mother um, in the middle of the night. So they actually flee the home. They will be relocated in a women's refuge, often the other side of the country, and um, they arrive with absolutely nothing. So our buddy bags, or what I like to think of them, our bags of love, make a massive difference to those children. Now, the items in these bags then yeah. are are things that you've kind of for different age ranges I guess yes yes what we do is we have boy girl and we have five different age groups and um, basically um, we we provide a cuddly toy um, we have a picture frame um, I'll come back to that in a minute there's a story behind that um, we also have um, pajamas vests and pants um, we provide toiletries so toothbrush toothpaste um, shower gel um, and um, a reading book which is really important and um, stationery so coloring book crayons so um, you know we try and put as much as we can in these bags they are all brand new items all really good quality and um, um, we've had some amazing feedback. You have, and I know we've got we've got some lovely uh, kind of postcards here from children, yes. from families who've said what these buddy bags mean to them. We'll go through some of those in a moment. I'm just I'm just wondering for you to set this up, and I know you got the kind of inspiration from your trip to Australia. Yeah. But coming back here and finding there's no equivalent here in the UK yeah. spurred you on to do it. Yes. But as a result of setting it up, you must have had to speak to these different women's refuges. You must have had to get an idea of what it's like, this life of, yeah. that I've, I've, I've described very briefly. I mean, what, what, what is the situation like? What are these children going through when they face this horror? 
Well, it's, it's interesting. I mean, um, the Women's Refuge, there's over 300 in the UK. Um, they are supported by lots of different organisations. Um, and it is literally um, starting from scratch. Um, you know, they have to make new friends. They have to go to new schools. Um, just totally alien to what we've ever experienced. I mean, I was very fortunate to be brought up in a, you know, a loving family home. But for thousands of children, that is just not the case. And um, it's just amazing to be able to, to give back and to make a difference to all these children. And I've had an overwhelming support um, from volunteers. And, you know, with contribution, it's not always about giving money. It's also about giving back your skills and giving back your time. And um, we're able to provide and help and support these children through, obviously, lots and lots of help from other people. Yeah, which I'm sure you still could do with more help. Oh, lots of help, yes. We'll give you the chance to say where okay. people can go for that as well, I know. Um, but with with regard to when when the child is in that situation, yeah, um, and whether it's it's mum or dad, let's let's not just make it sound like it's always mum who's no, fleeing that's because very that's true. not the case. No, not at all. But if it is the situation that one of the parents has got to a point where this is dangerous, enough is enough, we have to go now. There's no time, is there? There's there's no time for them to think. Better pack my toiletry bag. No, nope. you know it's not like you're just going on a last-minute weekend break. No, not at all. You are literally fleeing for your life. You, you are absolutely fleeing for your life. And as I say, you know, in some cases, it is literally in the middle of the night, and you know they're just taken out by social services, and you know they don't have time to um, take their belongings with them. We'll talk about just how important these bags, which seems such a simple idea. Yeah but just how important it is when you're going through something as horrific as that and like you say ripping you away from family from friends going yeah. to a completely different location in many cases yeah. and having to start fresh just having a bag of 12 items what a massive difference that can make so we'll talk a little bit more in a moment with karen williams on bbc radio derby the faces stay with me on bbc radio derby latest travel news coming up in a couple of minutes time karen williams is here and she set up the live love laugh foundation um she was inspired to do this after a trip to australia and you saw these buddy bags yes you read an article about it yeah. and thought have we got the same in the uk came back discovered we hadn't got anything similar and that was it that was it you were off yeah you now you've got a buddy bag bag next to you yes. and these are given well they're there at the women's refuge yeah for different age uh, different gender as well. Yes. And it's for children yes. who have fleed domestic violence. That's right. So they have, they've had to leave home, not really picked anything up. If they're lucky, they've picked a teddy up and that's it, and they're off. Yeah. So they get to the refuge and they get this bag. Now, here's an example of one of the rucksacks. So give us an example of what's in that rucksack mm -hmm. that's next to you then, mm -hmm. Karen. So we've got um, pyjamas, vests and pants. We've got some toiletries, um, stationary items, so sketchbook, crayons, um, a cuddly toy. And um, we also put a picture frame in. Now, what was interesting is when I was doing my research, um, I went to visit one of the women's refuge centres. And um, it was a really sad story. It was on the 4th of January. And they'd had a family arrive the evening before. They'd been relocated, arrived with absolutely nothing. And um, the children were absolutely beside themselves. They were more beside themselves because they had to leave their little puppy behind that they'd been given on Christmas morning. Oh. And the support worker said to me, she said, Karen, if you can put a picture frame in the bag, it means they can capture a happy moment. So um, that's why we put a picture frame in the bag, because they can have something still have it yeah, yeah. what a good idea yes. what a great yeah, idea yeah. and actually i mean you've, you've had some um postcards sent back from one of the refuge centers yes what what we do is every bag that we give out we put a postcard in which is a thank you and the child is encouraged to sit down again with the child support worker um to to send us the postcard back about what they loved about their buddy bags 
Let me read out a okay. few of these then. Um, I mean, this this kind of sums it up and says it all, read it, really, because this is from mum and daughters. So this is Bridget and Chloe. Um, what I love about my buddy bag, it's absolutely fantastic. Really appreciated the toothbrush and shampoo. Mm -hmm. Things you don't think of grabbing when you need to get out quickly. Yeah. Says it all. Yeah. Chloe, my 23-month-old daughter, loves the bag and the book, and she's wearing the pyjamas <laughs> now. A really lovely thing to receive in a time when you need some cheering up. Thank you so much. It's great. Yeah. That must make you feel... Well, that's quite touching, I would imagine. It is. I mean, read. you know, when I receive these in the post, it just brings a tear to my eye, yeah. to be honest. And... Um, you know, it's just so important. I just wanted to really mention that 100% of what we raise um, through donations and sponsorship goes 100% back into the bags. So we have no admin costs and, um, you know, every penny that gets donated, we put back into the bags. Uh, another one here. Um, I'm, I'm so, the writing's difficult, so I can't work out the name on here. Um, but it says uh, that what I love about my buddy bag is that it has things in it that are very useful. Also, it has a variety of things, and I love the colour of my bag. It was a deep purple. Colour is very important, it obviously, is, to this yes. person. The idea of this, now this is what I liked about this message, mm -hmm. the idea of this is very thoughtful for kids. This is written by a child, by the way, yeah. because it's very encouraging and it helps them to stay positive. How mature, actually, mm -hmm. to put that from a child's child. perspective, yeah. but again, so true, yes. so very true. Um, I'm going to read this one as well, which you did point <laughs> me towards this one, Karen. This one made me laugh. I don't know who wrote this, but it says, Thank you. I liked everything except the Liverpool brief. <laughs> Obviously not a Liverpool fan. Not at all. Oops, but there is, a big, there is a big thank you on yeah. there. Um, I mean, you know, in fairness, joking aside, these are really important items. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, you, you know, you're very grateful to all the support you receive already. But yeah. you'd always welcome more, wouldn't you, Karen? Of course, of course. I mean, you know, we do a monthly buddy bag brigade where we actually get a a group of volunteers together and we pack 180 bags now we're doing one of those every month in Tamworth so if anybody's interested in getting involved but we're also looking for obviously donations of money and items and also it's a great team building exercise so if there's any companies out there who would like to get involved in fundraising and then we will go into their um, premises and we will do a buddy bag brigade for the company and that's where we see us being able to raise lots of money for the buddy bags. So how do people get in touch then? Our website is www.lll.foundation and we've got a fabulous Facebook page that you can follow us on too, which is the Live, Love, Laugh Foundation. Brilliant. Karen, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. I, clearly, it's appreciated. Definitely. What a great job you're doing. Thank oh, you. Great thank to meet you. you. Thank you. BBC Radio Derby Travel News.